Hi there, welcome to a very unexpected video. I purchased the following item on Wish about four months ago, and the last thing that the tracking number said was that it was in China. So I contacted Wish and got a full refund and didn't think much of it. And then a couple of days ago, there's a small parcel at my front door. And sure enough, here it is. I got something for free off Wish, which is good, but it's nothing special. I just bought it out of pure curiosity. And also I happened to buy it off Wish because at the time, four months ago, I was looking for this item and it was cheapest on Wish. And I checked a few other sites and stuff and it was about the same price, so I just went off Wish because why not? What we're going to be having a look at today is what is claimed to be the smallest camera, the newest SQ8, SQ9 HD mini camera, camcorder, car, video recorder, sport, digital camera, support, TF card, DV, outdoor recorder. It's got three and a half stars with 50 reviews and you can see the reviews just here. Ken's pretty happy with it by the looks of it. And Brian says it's a cool LOL camera. That's fair enough. This originally was $7 for the item and then $7 shipping. So 14 bucks Australian, which is probably like $10 US or something like that. I can display some currencies here for you all if you want to. And the description is basically just this. It supports up to a 32 gig micro SD card. It can take 480p video, which is more than enough, I suppose. It has an infrared light, night vision, motion DV, a 200 milliamp hour battery. Please check your lens line and choose the right size when you place an order. Package content, one mini camera. I don't know if it includes accessories or not, but we'll soon see. And the photos are basically just smallest camera, motion detection, HD video, web camera, mic. I'm not expecting much from this. I, I expect it to be utter garbage. And this is a mini DSLR, and I just thought it'd be cool to have. This is more of a novelty. It's just for fun. We've got the two whole megapixels in this camera with the lens, USB interface, TF card slot, the hanging hole, uh, the work indicator, and the power button. A shot of the camera here. I mean, it's really glossy and stuff, and it has BR720 on the side there on a sticker. Okay, the front of it there says 8 megapixels. It's fine, it's probably only going to be a 0.3 megapixel one, if that. As I said, I'm not expecting much. It has HD on the side, which... 480p is HD accordingly, but hey, that's okay. And yeah, it has Guinness Mini DV on the side there, a little tiny sticker, but yeah, we'll have to have a look at it. Oh, it does have package contents. It does show the camera and a USB cable, a little keychain, and a lanyard by the looks of it. I mean, it was free, so I'm not going to complain, but I just want to see what's inside of it. I just want to see the photos it can take with it. Here it is here. <laughs> it was just at my door like this. I thought it was some rubbish from the bins or something that had, you know, flown towards the door, but no, it's actually uh, the camera. That's okay. The customs label says it's a recorder, which I will agree with. Now, before I open this up, I just want to give you a bit of context. That there. This is a 20 megapixel sensor from a Sony Xperia Z3. Now, I don't like repairing Sony phones because they're really complicated, and this was out of one that the board was dead, the screen was dead, so I just decided to rip the camera out. So keep this in mind that this here is a 20 megapixel sensor. As I've said, this is just a novelty, this is just a fun video, this is just out of the blue sort of thing, you know? I bought this just out of sheer curiosity, I want to see what it's like, and um, yeah, hopefully I didn't cut through anything. There you come, oh look at this, gorgeous. It comes with accessories, it does. It does come with accessories, there you go. So we do get a lanyard. We do get a, it's not a micro USB. It's slightly smaller than micro USB. This standard was actually used on some ZTE phones, some um, ones with T8 keyboards. I don't know what this standard is actually called, but yeah, it's slightly smaller than micro USB as per this demonstration just here. And you get a little keychain to hang it off your keys if you want to. <laughs> Because here it is. It's gorgeous. Look at it. Is it 8 megapixel? No, it's 2 megapixel. Okay, well, there you go. 2 megapixel. It has a film on the front as well, but it is obviously mimicking a DSLR, you know, just in this tiny, tiny little case. There's the micro SD card slot there, the USB, the little hole there, the hanging hole, HD. Uh, we have some certification marks on there as well. You've got the tiny little screen there. It's not a screen, it's just molded into the frame. The viewfinder, you've got little dials and stuff. We do have the button on top. Oh yeah, okay. And we have the working indicator just there as well. And the microphone would be right there. There's a small problem though. It didn't come with any instructions. I've bought some of these mini cameras before. And you've got to hold this button down. So you've got to like press it and then press it again and then press it twice or something like that to get it to actually take videos and stuff like that. But I don't have instructions, so I'm just going to have to guess. But just a comparison just there. They could have put a sensor like that in there. But no, nah, it'll just be probably one off a webcam or something like that. 
nothing special, but I'll just go ahead and power it on if it's still got battery life. And nope, it's completely dead. Of course it is, but yeah, I don't have a screen or anything to show you on it. Uh, we have the sticker there, which does say it's Guinness Mini. Video, TF card, picture and camera. That it is. I was trying to get the front film off, but you know, that's close enough. That camera actually looks slightly better than the one that was in the uh, Faco DSLR that I reviewed a couple of months back. This actually might be better than that, which would be surprising. There we go. There's our tiny little film. There we go. That's what I was trying to get off. Let me take some photos and videos with this thing, tr try and work out if I'm going to be doing it right. I'll try to have a look at some instructions online and um, show you a photo and video showcase with this thing and then tear it down because there's like nothing holding it together. Okay, we are currently testing video recording with the stupidly small, tiny camera with no viewfinder. So I'm just pointing at an object, hoping that you can see what's going on. I think there's a date code on screen, and it should be 2135 if I'm correct. That's not correct at all, but that's okay. Uh, I hope this looks good. This is what the brick wall looks like. It's very windy. That's fine. There's Stuart just chilling there as well. There's a lonely lemon. There's a couple of other lemons. Now, I can't zoom in, so um, that's the faraway aircon and the bright ass sun. Jesus, it's bright. Okay, so I hope you are now well aware of what this uh, little camera can do. Obviously, due to it having no viewfinder, you are basically just guessing where anything is and just snapping a photo, holding still for about four seconds and then continuing on because the little LED light tells you that's the uh, the working light and what I think to be the infrared light because this doesn't take night shots or anything like that as to be expected. But no, the button config is just hold, power on, press once for camera, hold for two seconds to start video, press it to stop video, and that's basically it. I think I took 60 shots using this. I just could not get the right angle, the right shot and everything for this, so I was just basically randomly going click, 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 until you got to see what was in the photo showcase. Video, on the other hand, is only 480p, but it's 30fps. The microphone sounds pretty garbage, but it's a solid 30fps, and we're going to tear this apart, because I want to see if you are into tinkering and building things, you could possibly use this as like your own hidden spy camera sort of thing. I mean, you could use it for other uses, but I'm not going to say what other uses you could use it for because, um, yeah, most of that's illegal. Uh, but yeah, you could possibly, yeah, tinker around with this and put it into another housing or do something with it. But I can't get it to do motion detecting or anything like that. It's just click button, wait, and that's basically it. Because I couldn't find any concrete instructions as to how to operate this thing, but I'm fairly sure there's no, um, like, motion detection mode. I'm fairly sure it's just a lens, a battery, a small little PCB, and a button, and that's basically it inside of this thing. Now, I forgot that I actually bought this one here, which is a, what does it say? A 12 megapixel, full HD. Uh, this does take 1080p videos, and it's got, like, a Polaroid strip going around it like that. Now, it's got a micro SD card in as well. It's got the same, you know ports going on there like that, so I'd say the internals would be the same, but we can take them apart, I suppose. Conclusion for a $14 cheapy camera off Wish, it's kind of better than the uh, SLR camera that I reviewed. At least the video is a consistent 30 FPS and it doesn't look half bad for a tiny little thing like this. As it is, it's a novelty, you know, <laughs> just to say, hey, look, I have a tiny little camera, look how cool it is sort of thing. Uh, to actually use it for practical reasons is pretty silly, but if you wanted to play around with it, use it for parts and build it into something cool, you could possibly do that. That's pretty much all I can say about it, to be fairly honest. I want to take both of these apart, actually. Uh, let's see this one, if I can pull this one off first. Aha, okay. See, this one has a screw holding it together quality. And now this should all come apart. Okay, we're going to have to zoom in because this is quite a lot of details going on here. 
Alrighty, so we just pull this out like that. So this is that square looking one. Look, look how small the battery is, that's cute. It's just literally a, a pack of gases and chemicals just in there. It's adorable. But my micro SD card is just here. That's a four gigabyte one I put in here. And then we can basically just pull this out. All right, so now this should just all come out of the thing like this. There we go. This one actually has LEDs in it. But the camera just here is soldered down. There's a code just there. Now I've also got this here, which is a front camera off an S6. This is a five megapixel one, I believe. So it just, you know, has a bit of a comparison there. This one's really unimportant. I just sort of wanted to take it apart and show you what the internals are. The chip on it is a, no idea what it is, but yeah, it's just a tiny little circuit board, nothing special. So then the question is, how did they go with fitting it all into this one here? How am I gonna put that back together is the question. Um, okay, so I'd say maybe a screw holds this down or something like that. There's got to be a screw holding it down somewhere. Nope. Uh, this side? Nope. So this one has a completely uh, screwless design. So I'm pretty sure we just pry it open. There we go. Probably should have removed my micro SD card, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, yep. Same little itty bitty tiny battery just there. It's, it's so cute. There's the chip just there. Is that upside down? I can't tell. Is that a little sword? I'm dealing with absolute miniature stuff right now. I can't really tell what's going on. So then we just lift this out of the body. Oh, it probably helps. Yeah, I need to take my micro SD card out. Whee! Okay. Out you come, little friend. There you go. And then the sensor's all the way down there. How does one get to that sensor? Wait. Okay. And then we just do that and do that. There it is. That's our guts. What's the code on here? There's the code on it just like that. We've already seen the camera just before. Nothing special just there, but it's soldered directly to the motherboard, which is in the shape of the SLR looking frame. We've got the microphone just up there, micro SD card slot, the tiny little USB connection, and a single button. That's all that's operating in this thing. But as I said, you could potentially use this you know, for your own DIY sort of thing, I don't know. Might be fun to play around with, or just give it to your kid and say, hey, look, play around with this, take photos of something, I don't know. I just love that this battery is 200 milliamp hours. It's just this little packet here that if I even touched it with a metal pry tool, it would probably explode. I mean, the explosion wouldn't be that big, but hey, you never know. That's all that's inside of here. I mean, I wasn't expecting terribly much, but it is interesting. I like to tear things down just to see what's inside of them. And, um... Well, now I know what's going on. How does one put this back together? Whoa, oh, that was painful. Does it still work? Yep, still works, but it's telling me that there's no SD card in it. That's fine. Uh, as for the other one, I'll just do this off camera. I sort of broke this one, uh, trying to put it back together. That's all right, I'm not using it anyways. As I said, good for someone to disassemble and put into a new housing or something like that. If you like miniatures, like I do, then this is also good. But you'll be completely hopeless at taking photos with this, but if you want to take sneaky videos or something, uh, I don't know. Feel free to do what you want with this, but I got this for free, so I really can't complain at the end of the day. It was just a fun little novelty to stuff around with, and... I've stuffed around with it. I will still stick by my word and say this is better than the SLR camera that I reviewed a couple of months ago. Actually, I may take back what I said after looking at the photos of the uh, SLR camera. That might be slightly better than this. This one's smaller. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. All right, everyone. Well, thank you very much for watching uh, this very random, spontaneous review. Uh, it's nothing special, as I said. Just a little thing that I thought was never going to turn up, and sure enough, it turned up, and here we are. I took some photos and videos of it. I tore it down, we got to see the insides of it, and that's basically it. That's that one done. But this video isn't finished yet. I've got a couple of announcements that I just wanted to make. So, number one, thank you very much for the 300,000 views on the hard drive video that I made. 
That is completely bonkers. And we are now at 36,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely unbelievable. So thank you very much for all of that. I do appreciate it. It's very, very unexpected for the end of the year to just end like this. It's quite amazing. But in saying that, though, I am planning to take a hiatus. It'll probably be from the end of December to January, and then I'll start refilming and doing all that sort of thing. But I just want to take a very well-earned break from YouTube, Instagram, uh, probably Discord as well, just for a couple of weeks, just to clear my mind sort of thing and uh, get everything back on track. So just letting you all know, I will do a community post as well, just to let everyone know and to keep everyone in the loop. And that's basically all of the announcements I have, pretty much. 2020 has been a rough year for everyone, quite an eventful one for me. A lot of things have happened, but hopefully 2021, we can continue this YouTube journey and uh, see what it leads to next. But I just want to thank everyone who's tuned in to watch, who sat back and watched these videos and had a laugh. It's really, really good to see that I am entertaining people, which is great. Uh, it's good for my mental health. And if it's, you know, helping others, then that's really, really good. But, you know, I wouldn't be where I am without you folk watching these videos and all that sort of thing. So thank you very much once again. And hopefully I can maybe make one more video before the end of the year, but we'll see what happens. Otherwise, everyone, as usual, take care, stay safe, and of course, be good people. And I will see you all in the next video after I find where I flicked that little camera to because I don't know where it's gone. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.